Today's video is sponsored in part by Jackery, meeting all your power needs for the outdoors. Ahoy guys and welcome to SSL episode 676 which brings us to the mouth of the Rio del Diablo or the River of the Devil. In previous episode we brought you to the Kuna Indian Islands of Nargana on the left and Corazon de Jesus on the right which translated from Spanish means the heart of Jesus although today we find out that Corazon de Jesus has a different translation in the Kuna language. As you can see, these two tiny islands have by far what is the biggest population of Kuna Indians in the entire San Blas region, but there is no good source of fresh water at these islands, especially to sustain a population of this size. So this is why they chose an island at the mouth of a river, Enter the Rio del Diablo. And today, we're going to take a trip up this river and find out a little bit more about its backstory. Okay, we go to make a school show in uh, Diablo River. It's a devil river. Rio Diablo. Rio Diablo. Rio Diablo. Diablo. You are right. This island is called lugar... the heart of Jesus. The Corazon de Jesus. Corazon de Jesus. Corazon de Jesus. And on our starboard. The Rio. Rio Diablo. Rio Diablo. So we got the Rio Diablo at the Corazon de Jesus. Corazon de Jesus. Okay, Corazon de Jesus is like the heart of Jesus. Diablo is like uh, devil river, I think. So I don't know if it's a coincidence or Luckily something it's funny. Diablo de Jesus. <laughs> Okay. Next big wave coming. Uh oh. <laughs> Put the motor back in now. Okay. I'm Okay. Así, así. Yeah. Ya, entra ahí normal. Da, ahí mismo, recto, recto. Recto, recto y ahí está todo. Ya, ahí entramos normal. Recto. Recto. Nosotros aquí en Cuba ya no. Este 
And yes, now I'd like to take a couple of minutes to say thank you very much to today's sponsor, which is Jackery. And I think many of you are probably familiar with Jackery because they've been a big name in power stations for a long time. And today we're here to look at their 1000 Pro portable backup system. Now it's amazing to see how much this technology has evolved in such a short time and this system packs a lot of punch in a very small and lightweight case. It has a 1002 watt hour lithium battery that's good for over a thousand charges before it reaches 80%. Now to put that into perspective, if you cycle the system from bottom to top twice a week, every week, you would get about 10 years of lifespan out of the battery before it dropped to 80% capacity. That's pretty impressive for a small system. And it has a pure sine wave inverter built in that packs a thousand watts of continuous output. Now, as you know, these power stations can be quite a valuable backup system in your household. But now that they're making them so portable, you can take them on the road with you anywhere you want to go, whether it's camping, RV, in your tent, hiking, fishing, canoeing, anywhere you want to go and keep your devices running. And not just your phones and your tablets, you can power any small household appliance with this device as it sits. It'll power a small microwave, a small fridge. We've even tried it with our induction stove and it had no problem boiling water. So if you have a portable induction cooktop, you can take that with you and use it with this system right here. Now, of course, the fun is not what you can do with it just in your house, but what you can do with it on the go. So we took it with us on one of our excursions to a little island for a picnic. The 1000 Pro has outputs for anything you could possibly want to run. You've got your DC outputs here, so USB charging, and you've got dual USB-C 100 watt output plugs right there. Now those are powerful plugs because even if you want to power a regular laptop like a MacBook, you can plug it directly in here and bypass all the AC chargers and the losses associated with them. Simply turn on your DC outputs and you can plug in anything you want right there. AC is exactly the same. You've got three three outputs up to a thousand watts, just turn them on right here and plug in anything you want. Up here you've got a 12 volt cigarette lighter style adapter for plugging in a portable fridge, just switch it on right there. And over here you've got an emergency backup light, so if you've lost lighting in your house or wherever, you just turn on this switch and you've got an emergency light right there. Now when it comes time to charge your 1000 Pro, they give you three ways to charge it. You can use the standard AC plug if you're at your house and just want to plug it in there. You can recharge it with a 12 volt cigarette lighter plug in your car, or you can recharge it with solar panels. Jackery sent us two of their new Solar Saga 80 watt solar panels. Now what's cool about these panels is they're bifacial, which means not only do they have solar cells on the front of the panel, but also on the back. And you can see that the storage case is lined with a silver reflective material, so when the panel is set up, it reflects light on the back. Now of course hooking them up is easy, they have their own proprietary plugs and cables, they just connect together, you just plug one to the next and then plug the second one into your Jackery power station and let it charge. So on your next excursion, the Jackery Pro Combo can keep all your favorite gadgets charged and running no matter how far away you plan to go. And even if we forget to charge our dinghy, the Jackery Pro 1000 will effectively give us a backup that can extend our range by 5 to 6 miles. And you know me, I like my backups. So thanks again to Jackery for sponsoring this video and be sure and check the description where I'll leave the links and discount codes just for you guys. Now, let's get back to the video. Anybody want to want something fresh to drink? Oh, where we are, I see. Can we go to explore inside the river? Eh? Eat all of and uh, a lot of kunayada during uh, the weekend. They come here to swim in, to eat. Uh, to have some chili time. To swim or to be eaten? Yeah, the crocodiles are here, right? Yes, but they're sleeping at night. Okay. They're out at night. Okay, it's all, no worry for the crocodiles because normally during the day they're sleeping and they're hunting the night. Yeah, but they're all here. 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 Aquí está 
están quebrando los videos. Okay, de lo que yeah. se metió. Cada uno, aquí Mari, cada uno tiene su finca, cada uno puede robarle poco a nadie. ¿Capi? ¿Capi? Ellos vienen de sembrando y buscando agua para su familia. No, tu larga nada no tiene eso por ahora. Nada más corazón. Okay, Pero corazón plain. vende el agua. Ok. He is playing then a lot of tuna like this man, have a lot of tank inside the canoa because they find go to find a water. Because now they don't have a, a big tank for all the people <laughs> that live in the town. They <laughs> need to buy the water to corazón de yeso. So this is like Camilla. They find a water. This, uh, on this side is only water for the cleaner themselves. And have a, um, a call center and a waterfall, not far away. Then they take a, the potable water for oh. Oh, oh. They take a potable water. Okay, you see? This mango. is a mango plantation. It's a full of mango plantation. Mango. Ahora vamos a llegar. Sí, ya. 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 Spider. Spider. Yeah. Spider. Yeah. Spider. Yeah. Well, now I arrive in a Languila, is a crocodile site. Where they sleeping. If you have a lucky, you can see some of there. Depends on your version of luck. Or it depends on your interpretation no, of luck. No. <laughs> this, all, this is the problem of uh, Kunayala sometimes. The, the, all, uh, uh, the oldest of the family die, like uh, in this case, for this land. And the young uh, of the family, the, the son, don't want to come back to grow in uh, the farm and take care of the farm. So these have a lot of coconut, they do not cut the tree, the banana goes to, to lost all the production of the banana. And this happens a lot of time now. The people, the young guys are more attracted for the city, for living in the city, than uh, continue to help the family here. Yeah, before, the Kunayala don't need to go in the Panama City every time for their groceries. They live and go in the vegetable and everything that you need alone. Yeah, they have a very uh, good uh, soil here for growing everything. Bamboo. But now what? Too many people or not enough family? No, the guy, no, the no, young no. guy, the young guys who want to uh, live Mario. the life uh, of the city. We have, a, we have a phone, internet, make a different kind of job, have a party, 
and uh, have a different kind of poturi. Then in one size is very good, but in another size they lost a lot of tradition and stopped to help the family for the loss they Ready? they learn. Tu ves el bambú que está aquí. Okay, this is all bamboo, guys. Uh -huh. Okay, this bamboo they use for building, then for making music uh, instrument. Uh -huh. uh, the the flauta. Uh, uh, I don't know how they make it. The flute. Yeah. Hello, the women Kunayala. They have the power of the chisel, and uh, they are the only one. Then they work the land. <laughs> the men fishing, building in the house, and the women growing the food, cooking, and uh, she going? <laughs> take the most important decision, is matriarchal uh, power. Lots of booby traps in the water. Mm -hmm. A couple of big jacks, yeah. the whole school. <laughs> He's got water bottles, he's just coming from the waterfall? No, I don't know. He's coming from a waterfall, uh, then the La Cascada, I don't know. No, La Cascada is más lejos. No, the, Está muy seco para pasar. the waterfall is very far away. Tengo que pasar el cementerio. And this moment is very dry, the, the way. Oh. But uh, they go to take uh, normal water, sweet water. Sweet water because they are far away from the ocean here, from the sea, and it's very cool. Sweet water, it's no, they don't have a salt inside. More, 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 yeah, but I see about two knots of current, so we just got to make sure the dinghy doesn't wash away or it's going to be a long swim back. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, they're everywhere. <laughs> yeah. As soon as you step, they move. They are so little that you can see almost. It's a little crab. Ah oh, no, Rick, it's no crab, it's a fog. They have a little fog everywhere. Ah. <laughs> you see them all start to move. Yeah, it's a little fog. Yeah, but <laughs> Why did they name it Rio Diablo? Yeah. Porque en los tiempos de los viejos, en los tiempos de nuestros abuelos, había monstruos que lo vieran en las noches. Okay. Uh, ya. Yeah? And because in the ancestor, it's correct. <laughs> in the ancestor, uh, the the oldest of the tribu of Gunayala um, so uh, mon monster during the night, the all noche. the time, mm -hmm. all the time. For this, they start. Oh, wow! Sorry, it's a Por big el, parrot, uh, blue parrot. Por eso no llamamos diablo, diablo. For this, uh, day by day, they start to call this river Diablo because uh, all the time, the night when they come in for hunting or something, Hace they they saw a monster inside. <laughs> it's possible the monster was a crocodile. Uh -huh. It's possible. We don't know really. Corazón de Jesus, mm -hmm. okay. In uh, in Cuna is a big heart. Big heart. Okay. Nargana 
is the name of an animal. The animal is the wild pork, the wild pig, you know? The, the boar. Yeah, the boar. Wild In Italy is the cinghiali. Mitzi's having fun. Yeah, he loves them, he loves water. Here we come from family. <laughs> it's a sweet water. You don't have a problem with this water, you know? Olympia. This is a very sweet, no salt water. <laughs> and she, do you want some water? No. 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 You go by up and wait till Palo Largo. Father? No, I'm not going to eat Yeah, yeah, without, 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 yeah, without. Yeah, yeah. Neutral. Yeah. Neutral's okay. It just bumps it for a bit. Yeah, I leave the motor unlocked in case we do bump in and so the motor just springs up. Yeah. yeah it's so light, it's so silent, so you can make a nice tour in the middle of the jungle, the mangla, the river, everything is, you can hear all the sound of the night. What? I can't hear you. So much water noise. <laughs> <laughs> all the sound of the night. the tree. They tried it. Está durmiendo. Está durmiendo. Está liguana, estoy buscando liguana por ustedes. Andan por ahí, ¿no? Wow! <laughs> Stinker. What? what are you doing? No. <laughs> bite your finger. <laughs> now you don't bite too hard, huh? You know it hurts. Oh, we got another night nice day. We're lucky. Yeah, without any. Normally, in this. I have a lot of rain in Nagana in this day. It's beautiful. A lot of sun. You see it? It's a bee snake. Yeah, ask him what is that. Ah, uh, Rino. Ah, yeah. What is that? It's a serpent. Yes, we have to take it here, Rino. Rino. Go out. Go out, Rino. You have to take it. No, I don't take it. You have to take it. What type of serpent is it? It's a snake. Okay, it's not, it's not dangerous name. <laughs> it is not dangerous. Relax, but... baby, relax. We <laughs> don't know. It's a snake. It's a snake. But you have to take it. It's a cross over the river. Okay, it's not a problem. We need only a broom, the pole of the broom, and take him and drop off. Put it on. Just grab him. Mm -hmm. Nama. Ah, it's a snake. It's a snake. It's a snake. Take him, take him. Ese li, ese no es ese, ese no es nada cobra nada eso. No, yo tuve el serpiente en mi casa, pero tuve un pitón, pero el pitón sí que no está peligroso. No, ese es el limpio, pero. Eso porque no es un río. Solo cuando son lúcidos son muy peligrosos. Ya sácala, nada más sácala. Okay, Ruby, want do it? Okay, Ruby, but put him in the water, yeah? Yeah, put in the water, please. Nice, you sure you don't want it for dinner? <laughs> yeah, good Lumi. Well, good. Look, nice. Nice job, Ruby. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, look, he can... The most He's they... going to come back to the boat, They're right? He's going to come back in the boat. <laughs> Go. <laughs> I wonder how he got on the boat. Like this. Ciao, buddy. Ese es por el río. Él no es, no es malo. El más cobra, el cobra sí es malo. Es como es el, el dorado. Yeah, el, el terciopelo. Uh -huh. He can hold his head out of the water when he's swimming. Yeah. Wow, it's nice. 
have a lot of energy, you yeah. know, guys? You weren't saying nice a minute ago. <laughs> no. no, okay, normally you know. when they are bright Serpiente. and shine, when they are bright Serpiente. and shine, they are dangerous. Mira, this, is a, this is no Estamos bright and shine. <laughs> Serpiente! <laughs> No, pero no tiene malo, es sencillo, es simple. Mira que está llegando por ti, mira. It's coming for you. <laughs> El águila lo va a agarrar. El águila. Oh, yeah. De eagles. Ah, sí. <laughs> es la comida de eagles. Ah. No, but it's really, it's coming your direction. He's heading for the jungle. Se va para arriba, mira lo que. No tiene malo, es sencillo. Es la amarilla. <laughs> and so ends another day. Oh. Se cruzó para acá. Welcome to the jungle. ¿Cómo subió? ¿Cómo subió? amazing next episode we start our last hop through the beautiful anchorages of the sandblast okay oh wow guys it's amazing water you see look you see all the fish yeah we got coral heads we don't want to drink our drag our chain across them no it's there this is good We've certainly enjoyed our time here, but it's time to get back on the road. So thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Ciao for now. This is just seagrass, right? Yeah. Yeah, tomorrow's not clean. Very early. It's going to be a little bit rough here, but you probably still like it tomorrow. Yeah, I think so. I only said that we need to leave soon. All the time we find a beautiful spot. Richie, Ruby, we are in a yeah, dangerous situation. <laughs>